It's 932, and it's about this time on Wednesdays we present Ask the Lawyer with Bruce L. Shiner, attorney for the injured, answering questions largely submitted by you. I'll tell you how to submit a question coming up in just a moment here. If you've already submitted the question, maybe today's the day that Bruce will answer it for you. Let's find out. Let me introduce you to Bruce L. Shiner, attorney for the injured. Good morning, Bruce. Hey, good morning, Todd. How are you doing this beautiful Wednesday morning. Excellent. We always chat about the weather, and I got to say, perfect stuff lately. Couldn't be nicer. Couldn't be nicer. Actually, I was just going to say the same thing. How's everything in your world? How's the family? How's everybody in the office? Everybody's doing great. That's good. I've been um, helping down at the um, U.S. Pickleball Open in Naples. I've been volunteering down there and watching some great pickleball players. Man, I am telling you, that is a huge event, and I'm, I'm so glad that you're getting a chance to witness it. I wish I could. Cool. Well, Bruce, I'll tell you what. We've got another question today that I just know you're going to be able to help with. If it's okay with you, I'm going to plunge right in. I'm ready. All right. Here's what today's email says. My daughter was a passenger with a college friend who ran a stop sign and caused a terrible accident. My daughter was taken to the hospital with multiple broken bones, a concussion, and a severe neck injury. The driver was ticketed and only had minimum insurance. We have always maintained full insurance coverage, including uninsured motorist coverage. Glad to read that. Will that protect my daughter even though she wasn't driving? Does the fact the person she was riding with was at fault for the accident eliminate any claim? Please ask the lawyer if he can help. Well, at least they pay enough attention to this segment, Bruce. They got the uninsured motorist coverage, so that's a start anyway. That's a great start, Todd, and I hopefully it's stacking uninsured motorist coverage mm-hmm. so they get the full benefit of all their policies. Right. Um, the answer is when you're a passenger in someone's car and they're at fault, you have a claim against them. And you could collect from their insurance to the extent that they have insurance. Okay. If they don't have insurance or their insurance isn't sufficient to cover your claim, you can make a claim under your underinsured or uninsured motorist coverage. That's right. And again, that's why stacking is so important because if you have two or three vehicles, you add the coverage of each vehicle together to get the total amount that you're allowed to recover. Right. I always tend to forget that uninsured motorist coverage is also known as underinsured. So in a case like this, where the at-fault driver only has a minimum amount of insurance, that would be considered underinsured, and that's when it would kick in, right? Yes, sir, exactly. It's uninsured if the at-fault doesn't have any bodily injury coverage and it's underinsured, if their coverage is not sufficient to cover all of your damages. Such an important subject, and I like to stress every time we talk about this, if anybody would like to call, and I'm going to give you your office phone number here in just a moment, and and say, do I have sufficient coverage, you would be happy, have somebody in your office happy to talk to them about that. I'm always available to talk to people about their coverages. Yeah, because better to find that out now than after the fact, for sure. So... Absolutely. It sounds like this young lady is going to be at least, uh, I hope, okay, physically and financially, but probably needs to get a hold of a legal professional fairly quickly. Yeah, they need to contact a experienced personal injury lawyer as soon as possible. All right, Bruce. Well, thank you for your time. I'll let you get back to pickleball. That's amazing. I'm, I'm so glad that you're doing that. Have a great time. Thank you for your time, and we're already looking forward to chatting with you next Wednesday. I am too, Todd. Thank you very much. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen, Bruce Elshiner, attorney for the injured. And the answer of the week, if you would like to ask a question, always been curious about the law in some way, let me see if I can't help you out with that. Just go to our website and put the keyword Bruce in the search box. That'll take you where you need to go. Now, if you'd like to find out about your coverage, if you are well covered or as well covered as you can possibly be, or you're in a similar situation as this young lady, please reach out to the Port Charlotte office of Associates and Bruce L. Shiner. 
The phone number is 941-743-7777. 941-743-7777. Tell them the Todd Matthews sent you from Kicks Country 92.9.